Hi, I'm Jason from the company Block Outlines. Today I'm going to be talking about the PVC material that we use on cafe and zip track lines. Now cafe and zip track lines, they're the blinds that we use to enclose patios or uh, pergolas to create that, um, that external room, to, to bring the outside in. Now, we're coming into summer and they're very popular during summer and sometimes the prices can vary you know, quite substantially between different companies and some people might get confused with that. Well, there's, there's quite a few different things that can affect the quality and the price of these blinds but one of them comes down to the quality of the PVC used uh, to make the blind. Now the PVC that we use uh, comes from Japan and is of the highest quality available for, uh, for use in blinds. Now you also uh, can get um, quite cheap cafe blinds at some of these uh, larger hardware type stores, the, the do-it-yourself ones, and they're significantly cheaper. However, that's okay, but you have to ask yourself, well, I'm paying a lot less. There must be a reason for it. Yes, I'm installing them myself. That's one part. But there must be more to it. And unfortunately, these type of blinds, you can put them in and save some money, but in one or two years, uh, they're, they're not really just going to be up to scratch and you're probably going to have to replace them. So I'd like to show you a photo first of all. And here is a photo of... A PVC blind installed, not one that we installed, but one that I just uh, I, I just went around and, and found on my travels. And here you can see the fabrics rippling, and uh, it, it just doesn't look good. And and this is what happens when you get a, a poorer quality PVC. Now I'd like to show you another photo. This is a uh, a job we recently did at a cafe called Setabello in uh, in Melbourne. And as you can see, the PVC, you know, it pretty much looks like a piece of glass. It's taut, nice and shiny, there's no ripples, and, and that's how it should look. So that's the difference between the cheaper, less expensive PVCs and uh, the not more expensive, but the better quality PVC. Now, even if you get the good PVC, um, you still have to make sure you look after it and I'll be doing another video on that how, but you do have to maintain it and clean it and stuff to make sure that it does um, survive for many many years to come but hopefully that's given you a bit more of an understanding between good and bad PVC and and why you might get some quotes from some companies where the price just seems a bit too good to be true well, you just have to start asking a few questions, and one of them is, what type of PVC do you use, and, and where does it come from? So until next time, I look forward to speaking to you then.